Hello everyone, I'm a designer and when I discovered for the first time the topic of this event, I was really excited because I can share with you why designing for the experience can be one of the most powerful opportunities of this age. But first I was wondering, uh, what do you have in your pocket? How many smartphones I mean? Show me, show me the lights. Come on. Okay, I'm much a phone. <laughs> so, now, imagine that we are traveling to the other side of the world for a business trip, and at the arrival we are without our personal assistant. How does it feel? We depend from that device. Personally, I've experienced this kind of situation sometimes in my life, and every time it was so stressful without my phone. Uh, we need to use for maps, we use for a lot of tasks. Last year, when I went to Hong Kong for a few days, I lived exactly that situation. I landed, wait for a few minutes for each terminal, switching on my phone to check my plan and direction, and the screen remained black. Dead. Silent. Completely out of battery. So, <laughs> the question is how I can reach my hotel. You can imagine my mood at the time. <laughs> the point is, okay, I had to find a way out for the, of the airport. I remember the hotel name and I tried to look for the exit inside the airport and the direction was clear. I moved toward the exit, I grabbed my bag, I easily passed the customs, I reached the train station, I type my hotel name to the display of the ticket machine and it say, to reach your hotel, go to the central station with the, the rapid train, train and catch the double decker. Do you want a prepaid city car for the next days? Okay, yes, I want. I swipe my credit card and I receive an RFID card with $100 for, all, for using all public transportation, local shops, and a map of the city. I got on the train and uh, I'm, rela I'm relaxing looking at the city skyline with a nice music in the background. When I reach a train station, just in front of the train station, I bring the double-decker tram for two stops to reach my hotel, and finally, I check in into my hotel, and when I walk, walk it into my room, I find a really nice welcome kit and a ready-to-use charger. <laughs> so, nothing horrible happened to me. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, my journey from the airport to my hotel was a real pleasure and allowed me to enjoy Hong Kong, the, air, the Hong Kong. The airport hall were full of beautiful local hard works that gave me the taste of the city and empathized with the local moods. When I booked the ticket from the train, it was given a prepaid card which allowed me to access the whole local transportation system and using local shop like a credit card. And on my way to the train, it was comforted by a lot of signals and information that gently rocketed me since I got on the train. I've never felt lonely or abandoned or lost. No stress, no anxiety. Everything in this journey was transparent, fluid, easy, smooth, pleasant. It allowed me to focus on the city without burdening me with the stress of orienting in a strange land. But here's the point. Why was this experience so relevant for me? Why it was so memorable? And why they change my future expectation when I travel? Being a designer, I assume the reason why is because someone has designed and orchestrated every single interaction I find of the, on the path. With things, services, system, place, uh, and means of transportation, so that I could live a good experience. The context where I live my experience enabled me to focus my attention to my real life and the outside world. The experiences that we live are some of the most important elements in our life. Experiences define how we feel, define our happiness, define our expectation and the way as we behave. The quality of the experience that we live defines the quality of our life. So enabling people to live good experience today is one of the most interesting challenges for design. 
Design and designer, more than any other discipline, have the power to empathize and understand how people live and feel experience in different contexts and the customer relationship with the different technologies. Based on what we understand, we are moving our discipline today from simply create useful and beautiful product to create synergies between physical, digital, and cultural contexts to generate new space for interaction. Working on that space where people interact with each other with complex systems and service enable us to shape the place where experience originate in a more simpler, smoother, pleasant, and beautiful way. Connected device, automated card, smart objects, augmented reality, multi-channel service, all these new space for interaction are a few examples of, of, all the, all of this new approach and the job that we are doing inside the design field. So today, designers are shifting their focus from designing products and service for human to design for the human experience. And personally, I think that this is one of the biggest opportunities for this age, improving the people's life by improving the experience that they live as human citizens and customers. Thank you.